Laser rust removal is something I have been wanting to try for some time now. I recently got my hands on the Comarca B4, a fiber laser that lets you do it. This is a short video on how to remove rust using a fiber laser. And I'll also be sharing the parameters I used. Welcome to Melopine Lasers. Let's get into it. Before we get into the actual rust removal, let's get into the science behind it. Rust is nothing but oxidized metal that sticks onto the metal surface. When a laser is fired onto a rusty surface, the energy of the laser is primarily absorbed by the rust particle, mostly because they have a darker color and darker colors absorb light energy better. Now, the rust particles heats up to very high temperatures due to the energy. Of course, this happens on a microscopic scale, that's why we don't see the metal melt. The high heat also causes the rust to undergo thermal expansion at a much faster rate than the underlying metal. The difference in expansion and the extreme heat causes the rust to break its bond with the metal surface. These rust can then vaporize or be forcefully ejected from the surface. By fine-tuning our laser settings, we can target the rust layer without damaging the underlying metal. When you're using a fiber laser, there are three things you can essentially control the speed, the power, and the frequency. Fiber lasers can produce very high pulse peak powers up to tens of kilowatts. By concentrating this energy delivery into short, rapid fire pulses, even low-powered fiber lasers can blast away rust layers with a series of micro-explosions. The quick pulses prevent overheating the underlying base metal. For removing rust, you should use low-frequency settings because at higher frequencies, there isn't enough energy hitting the surface to cause ablation. Also, try to use low power at low frequencies because high power at low frequencies is not really good for the components inside your fiber laser. It is also a good idea to set up a fume extractor to remove the fumes. So here are some of the attempts I did. I'm using the 20 watt fiber laser from Comarker. I'll put down the settings I used over the video. To show you the difference, this one was done using sandpaper and this one was done with a laser. So that's a little something about removing rust using a fiber laser. Do not forget to subscribe and check out our channel to learn more about lasers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be waiting for you in the next video.